Welcome to this chapter where we will be finally kicking off our forensic process. Now, in order to do so, we first need to even understand what the forensic process looks like. So this is why we just want to jump into this PowerPoint here real quick and discuss the forensic process. As you can see here, the forensic process starts with the collection of the data before we examine and analyze it and then put our findings into a report. So in our case, this is why we actually created a target system, first of all, because it, the forensic process means we need to think about how can we extract the data that we need in order to perform our analysis that actually supports the, our objectives. So the collection is a couple of considerations around it. We need to first identify the data. So in our case, that's pretty simple. It is just a virtual machine that consists of a memory and a disk. And this is the kind of data that we want to extract. However, in a real environment, of course, that might be much more complex. It might consist of supporting evidence such as logs that are around or other systems. But for us, let's keep in mind, we want to focus on the memory and on the disk of that virtual machine. Second, we need to acquire the data. In order to do so, it's really, really important to keep in mind the order of volatility. For example, if you shut down a system right away or if you unplug a system, it would actually lose the current state of its memory, which is considered volatile data. And this is something that is not recoverable and it would be gone forever. That's definitely something we have to avoid in any case. So in real environments, if you ever need to acquire the data, make sure that even though it's a malicious or maybe a compromised system, think about ways to contain it first, to isolate it first, or maybe in our case where we are dealing with a virtual machine to just pause the system so it doesn't really expose any threat to the environment, but never just shut down right away. Again, because we really, really need this, the memory first before we can actually think about acquiring the less volatile data. In our case, that would be the disk. Let's keep in mind now, in our case, we will go back to the virtual machine. We want to pause it, then we want to acquire the memory of the virtual machine, and then we want to create an image of the disk. Now, and last but not least, once this is done, best practices dictate that we need to create a hash to verify the data's integrity. And that is so if we ever were to share the data, if we share the evidence, Later on, we need to be able to create another hash and be able to compare both versions of it to ensure its integrity and that the data hasn't changed. So in any legal cases, that is really important, but just in general, it's also something that you always want to consider. And there we go. Now we have a plan moving forward. We will start with the collection of the evidence from our target system before we will move into the examination and analysis of the data.